The BBSRC Horticulture Quality and Food Loss Network is designed to bring together academics, so scientists and people from a range of disciplines um, across the UK together with industry partners to try and improve the quality of our fruit and vegetables that we eat and to address the problem that exists of food loss. Um, what we've been seeing is that, of course, there's a huge recommendation to increase our consumption of fruit and vegetables, and people are not doing that. And, and part of that is because the quality of the fruit and veg they buy is perhaps not as good as it could be. So we're interested in things like extending the UK growing season. Um, we would like to start producing more of our food that's consumed in the UK in the UK. And so that means that we're interested in processes like the regulation of flowering, the control of senescence, so that end of life process in fruit ripening. Um, I'm standing in front of some strawberries and, and one of the things that we're interested in is to see whether we can stretch the season for strawberries over a longer period um, with UK grown crop. We are of course interested in pests and disease, both in field and in the post harvest supply chain. And often the disease that you see post-harvest has come onto the plant pre-harvest. So it's very important to keep those things linked up. As we are seeing changing climates, then we're starting to see an increase in the pests that we're finding in the UK and the diseases of plants that we find in the UK. So climate change is making it more important than ever that we can address those problems. So we have over 350 members. This is from a, a range of universities and from industry partners. We funded six projects in the first round. Very pleased to say that over half of the projects were given to early career researchers. That's one of the key aims of the network, is to try and encourage more people, both scientists and industrialists, into horticulture, and to see this as a place to do really stunning quality science. We've got a huge backbone of plant science in the UK who are working on fundamental problems like the regulation of flowering and the responses to different kinds of stresses. And what we need is for those people to apply their insight and their knowledge to horticultural crops and then actually to make a real difference to the food on your plate. Climate change is real, it's happening now. And I would say we're already a little bit behind the curve in terms of our preparedness to deal with it. We still have an opportunity. We still have some brilliant fundamental science that's going on that is giving us an insight into how we can produce animals, crops, horticultural fruit and veg that is going to be resilient to a future climate. How we can grow food across more of the year in the UK. How we can look after those global supply chains from the source to the plate. But we cannot delay.